guys and welcome back to my channel in this video I'm gonna be showing you my top highlighting products of all time I am a huge highlight junkie and I definitely take time to evaluate all of these products and for me to recommend them to you guys is because they're truly awesome um, I want you guys to know that some of these products are a little expensive some of them are drugstore so it's up to you guys you guys can get great highlighters for good prices so I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and I think it would be very helpful to those because I know highlighting is huge nowadays but let's get on with the video okay so first I'm gonna be starting off with two high-end products and I feel like they are just beautiful and they give the skin the most flawless luminous glow. If you're looking for more of a primer, I would definitely recommend the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This gives a very um, luminous base to the skin to then apply your foundation on top. It makes the skin look beautiful. Um, I'm wearing it today along with uh, highlighters and things like that but as a base it really helps kind of boost your skin and le leaves it very um, just glowy and it smells very good and it's hydrating too so if you're looking for a primer that has that glowy effect this is a good option for you guys so if you wanted to just do a cream highlighter um, to kind of layer on top of your foundation I would really recommend the Becca shimmering skin perfecter in the color moonstone it's just more pigmented and its purpose is to be a cream highlighter it's just more intense so you would apply it to the areas you want extra glow on top of your foundation or mixing it in with your foundation so now we're moving on to powder uh, products my first one is the Becca champagne pop by Jaclyn Hill obviously it's freaking awesome this one is broken because I I guess it's so finely milled that it just broke but I'm just going to Show you guys it's very pigmented it has that gold tone to it it's beautiful this one's beautiful for super fair complexion um, it gives you a like that um that very pretty like lit from within glow but it has more of that white um, frosty look to it but not so white more like of a cream frost the next high-end product that I'm gonna be showing you guys is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. This is so nice. I'm gonna just do a little quick. This is so pretty, guys. Like, I'm wearing it today on my cheeks as well. You know, a true gold highlighter. Um, for super fair complexions, I don't think this would be a good color. You might want to do a shade lighter. Um, even for myself, I thought it was like a little too dark, but I mean, it's it's manageable. I like I could I could use it, but if I were to be even lighter than what I am now, you would definitely notice that it's like gold on your cheeks rather than a highlight. So I would um, just watch out for that. But the next product that I'm going to be showing you guys is not technically a highlighter, but I do use it as a highlighter all the time. It's awesome. This is the Kevin D Thunderstruck um, Metal Crush Eyeshadow. These eyeshadows are literally swiping just the pure pigment off of this. Like, it's just amazing they're so finely milled that the pigment is amazing so this is my finger and i'm just going to show you guys i'm going to go very lightly and boom like this is like no joke and it has a lot of like blue like it has a the, how do i explain it like a like a green blue pink pearlescent type of color I don't know, it has a million tones, but this is beautiful as a highlight, like, it's just so pretty. Is the Hourglass Dim Light. This is perfect for those of you guys who don't really like that intense um, highlight uh, that is very, like, striking. Um, it's very soft, very, very subtle. It's like a skin veil. It's very, very beautiful to even set the whole entire face with. That's how subtle this is, but the, the finish is so beautiful. It's literally, like... A sh like a soft skin veil of luminous just flawless complexion that's what it looks like <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. but you could layer it like if you were to just put it on your cheeks you could layer it up and it's so beautiful it's really really a, an amazing product you have to kind of like play with it yourself because if you were to swatch it like straight off the bat you'd be like oh my gosh this is like a matte type of highlight like I don't know it's like weird but like when you put it on your face this is beautiful this is the Mirror Luminizer. This has been my go-to highlighter for a very long time. It is just, it's one of those that, it's like a staple. Um, it's definitely like one of those um, 
it's like a white gold type of highlight very very pretty um i love this highlighter i have nothing but good things to say about this uh, yeah it just gives a very beautiful just goldish tone um, highlight to the skin and it literally will look like metallic on you if you if you layer that up really amazing one that I got in an ipsy bag and I have not stopped raving about it is the city color highlight trio this is so good like when you really look at it it looks like it's like cheap products because it has like like the the surface of it is kind of rough but when you actually apply it with a brush it is so pretty it has three different shades so what I do is I kind of just swirl my brush in it and it gives you this truly gives you a metal like highlighter so if you like that like very intense chroming effect that they call it nowadays this is a perfect option for you guys it is so nice if you have a lot of texture on your skin I wouldn't really recommend this because it's not really finely milled so I would see it accentuating um, those marks of texture on the skin so if you do have a lot of texture on this area I would recommend this one instead which is the Physicians Formula Natural Nude Shimmer Strips well, this feels so soft and just it literally glides on the skin it almost looks just like um, like you airbrushed your highlight this is such a nice highlighter and my last but not least it is it's actually an eyeshadow it's the infallible eyeshadow in iced latte it comes like this and I'm just going to show you guys one little scoop look at that beautiful color as well so yeah as you can see you don't have to technically use highlighters to highlight because this is this is an eyeshadow but yeah, just be creative with it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and found products that you kind of want to go grab now. I also just recently filmed this glowy summer makeup look featuring some of those highlighters in it. If you guys want to see that video, then it will be linked. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Bye, guys. It just doesn't play when you do it like this, guys. <laughs>